this is honey. Honey is a good girl, but she has pretty bad separation anxiety, which is getting better. But when we first got her and we put her outside, her anxiety uh, with storms, loud noises and all that there, we had a little thunder clap one time and she chewed up the door frame, which is what you're gonna see my repair in this video. That being said, let me show you. I did the repair, so it's behind here, but we had to put these metal strips covering up the door jams down there low because you leave those exposed and she she would chew on them now it's been a while since she's had any kind of anxiety so i'm sure that we could take these off now which i probably will and and i'll patch up the holes uh from the screws she's before she would we couldn't leave those exposed because she'd get bored or she'd get anxious and she'd start chewing on them which is the video you're gonna see should be a quick little video today shouldn't be too crazy and you might learn a thing or two again by no means is what i'm about to show you anything professional it's just stuff that i have laying around that i'm gonna use to repair stuff so stay tuned and hope you enjoy so we're outside now, keeping honey calm. Gonna show you the damage here and what we're gonna do. This is an up close view of the damage that she did with her mouth. Naughty little pup. Gotta hop all over everybody. Is that what's going on here? Yeah, you did that, didn't you? Naughty pup. Okay, so yeah, she took big chunks of the wood away. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sand that down, uh, get a nice smooth surface, and try to follow the contours of the of the wood and recreate what was there using Bondo. So I've used this, like I said, on this. Oh, and this one was bad. She chewed that one to pieces too. Actually, she started again, so I'll have to patch those real quick. She also chewed that one right there, and that's what I showed earlier that I repaired. So, you know, this stuff works. It's not it's not ideal. I know it's not made for wood. It's made for cars and whatnot. But it does the job. So that's all that's important. And it looks good. So I'll get that taken care of right now. And uh, I'll show you. I'm going to turn on the GoPro and you can watch the process. Basically what I did so far, I got my drill, got this little uh, used scouring pad, and I'm s smoothing this out. Uh, I want to have a smooth surface to work with so I don't got splinters poking out and stuff stabbing me and all that whatnot. So, so, so far I've, I've pretty much smoothed it all out and uh, I think I'm ready to make some Bondo.
so naturally the GoPro battery died. Battery died while I was mid uh, working. So here's where we're at. I've got a groove carved out. Kind of screwed it up all up in here, through here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, one more bondo round. Like I said, I wasn't gonna, but mainly because I gotta fix that. And while I'm at it, I'll fix that hole out there. So, you know, things like this. One more smooth out, should be good. So, little batch of bondo, one more patch. All right, it's been about 10 more minutes. I put another uh, layer of the bondo on and I gave it a quick little sand. It looks pretty good. Um, it looks much, much better. I can't seem to get this outer edge perfect. Um, the gap, I mean, I guess, is the more uh, relevant part that I can't get perfect. Um, so, I'll show you right here. So I got a little more sanding to do right here, and a little more right here. But if, if you look down in that crack, it, it, it's not by any means perfect. See how it's perfect up here, and it's perfect down here. Come on, focus. Right here in the middle. It's just kind of all over the place. And that's because it's really hard to do. <laughs> <coughs> to replicate that, <coughs> excuse me, without a, without a saw. So, that being said, uh, a little bit more sanding, and then we'll move on to painting. Okay, it's painting time. It's probably the best I'm going to be able to get it, and it honestly doesn't look terrible. It looks pretty good after the sanding, so. I also have to, I did a little patch right there, already sanded. And a little patch over there, which is already also sanded. So, I'm going to go ahead and throw some paint on this. Um, it's the one that it was originally painted with, so it should blend pretty well. I'll show you the result when I'm done. Alright, it's all done. I took a little quick break, got everything cleaned up, and back to put away. So, let's see the big reveal, see what it looks like. And voila! So, what you can notice here is you can see the wavy line back and forth, real wavy, all the way up and down. Let me see if I can get closer here. Which isn't the most appealing thing or most attractive thing, especially because you can see what it should look like down here and up here. But, you know, all said and done, at least it doesn't look like it did before with a big, massive hole in the side right here. So, it feels good, it looks good, the paint stuck well, uh, but, you know, overall I'm happy with it. You can see the middle part right here, came out perfect, and the side over here came out pretty darn good. So, door frame is back. Now, what I'm going to do next out there to prevent Miss Honey from gnawing on those again is got a few of these, uh, these metal brackets here, right? Black metal brackets, real, real heavy duty. They, they're, they gotta be an eighth of an inch to thick. And what I'm gonna do is maybe two-sided tape or, or something, stick them down here. Just all the way around so that way she can't chew on them. Because um, that's the only thing I feel like is gonna stop her. Uh, I don't have any other ideas. So anyway, that's the first part of this video. So this is the nice little Kindle pile that Honey ripped off of the door. 
that's what she ripped off the door. That's what came from there before I did the repair. So you can see it was a significant pile of wood. All right, so drop a like, a subscribe, a comment, share on social media, get a hold of me. If you have any suggestions for videos or anything you want to see or learn about, uh, I'm glad to entertain those. Stay tuned, keep an eye out in the future for home maintenance tips. Uh, I've got a lot of things around the house that need to be maintained, including our tankless hot water heater. We need to descale it and flush it, which is supposed to happen annually, so that will be coming up soon. Uh, topping off the water softener, as soon as the weather warms up a little bit, all of these maintenances are going to happen. I'm also going to be doing a thorough breakdown and cleaning of our pellet stove. This thing is amazing. It's a Pell Pell Pro. It handles three bags of pellets at a time. It is a heck of a pellet stove. It, it warms this entire place up really, really well. So highly recommend the, that if you have any intention of buying one. All right, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.